So we're Bantam. And I'm Rory from Cork. And I'm Emer from Cork. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The song is On My Days. Um, we're doing something a little different uh, today. It's, a, it's an acoustic version of the original, which is from the, the Legion album, uh, which I recorded and released about back in 2012. And it's kind of interesting because like, the way we wrote it was that Rory had all these kind of uh, production-y bits and pieces done for his album, and we decided to collaborate and I wrote some vocals for it. So it's been like, growing and morphing for like two years now at this point and, and it's only now that it's turned into like an, an honest to goodness like verse chorus verse acoustic guitar chords kind of song. Your voices are loud in the cold First album I bought was Franz Ferdinand's debut album. I was 11 at the time. Well mine's going to show the age difference. Yeah. <laughs> My first album that I bought was Adrenalize by Def Leppard on cassette. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I remember it was the um, Let's Get Rocked music video. It was like in 3D and it was just back in the day, it looked amazing. So I bought the cassette and the cassette, cassette didn't work. It didn't work. What does that mean? I it must mean something. <laughs> it's really hard for me to pin down uh, my like earliest musical memory because like my dad is just a complete like obsessed with music, music nerd. Like, if he likes an artist, he'll just collect every recording he can of them. Um, so it was always, um, there was always just records on and stuff when, when I was growing up. So I couldn't even separate music from any other part of my life, like at any point. For me, it was, I was six years old and my mum brought me to the local cinema to see Batman movie. It was one of my earliest memories. It's, there was some scene and there was like Prince music on in the background. At the moment, my idol would be David Byrne, definitely, just because of his uh, the, the nature of his work being so like cross-disciplinary and like how he works to make his live show a whole performance with like different uh, uh, costume designers and and choreographers and video designers and all kinds of crazy things, um, which I find really inspiring. And also, he's just a very sensible person, kind of clued into the whole thing. Um, and his book, uh, How Music Works, is amazing. I'd been nearly the same. Actually, the last time I was really inspired was uh, I went to see St. Vincent in the Olympia and went home and wrote a load, or tried to write a lot of tunes. But I found that um, the stage setup, the whole set was really inspiring. It was really good. You could tell that she took a lot of that from, Dave, from touring with David Byrne as well. If I had a superpower, I would always think that I would want uh, to be able to stop time because I'm always late for things but I think if I actually could stop time I'd just stay there and I would never do anything and I would just like stay in a bubble uh, of timelessness so that would probably be a bad thing. I was going to say that actually. Yeah, no way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to because I every morning when I have to get up early for work I'm like oh, I wish I could just pause time <laughs> so I could sleep for another half hour. Snooze button on life. Yeah. Yeah. We're getting deep here. <laughs> My pet peeve is um, pan pipes. <laughs> they drive me nuts. I hate pan pipes. Those guys on Grafton Street, if I walk past them, I have to just like run. I hate them. It's like elevator music. I hate pan pipes. Ambitions. I want to keep making music. I want to not gig as much. I think, you know, we, we gigged a lot last year. I want to sit back get some new inspirations, ideas together, um, and work towards maybe an EP or an album or a soundtrack or something, you know. Um, just to have another body of work to look forward to and to look back on along with what we have done already. Petra.